of this video is to show you the skill of accessing a quarter cath. To begin with, we always want to introduce ourselves to the patient, verify the patient's identification with two different identifiers. We always want to verify the physician's order prior to beginning. After you've done that, you want to assess your patient and ensure they don't need anything prior to beginning the procedure. For port cath access, we need to wear a mask during this procedure and our patient also needs to wear a mask. We need our sterile gloves, clean gloves, three chloropreps, we need a Huber needle, we need our 10 ml normal saline, we also possibly will need our heparin flush, we need a bile patch, a tagoderm, and a cap for the end of the Huber needle. To begin with, we'll want to set up all of our equipment once we've cleaned our hands. We always wash our hands, place on clean gloves, and then we're okay to begin. Once I put on these clean gloves, I want to palpate the patient's skin around the port cath area. Now we will remove these gloves and wash our hands, and we're going to don our sterile gloves. Once we have our sterile gloves on, we know that we're sterile and we need to be cautious about what we touch. I can go ahead and move this out of the way. And now I'm ready to begin to insert our Huber needle. First off, we want to clean. So you want to take your chloroprep, you want to pop this, and we're gonna clean in a circular motion from the inner to outer aspect and then we'll toss. We'll let that dry for just a few seconds. We'll take our second chloroprep, activate, cleanse again from the inner to outer circle. Remember, we do have a mask on during this procedure. I just have mine off so that you can uh, see or understand what I'm saying. Third, we activate, and then we cleanse again from the inner to the outer and toss that in the trash as well. Now we're ready to insert the needle. We can go ahead and pick this up and remove our cap because we're sterile and the inner part of this is also sterile. Grab our Huber needle, maintaining sterile. And I'm gonna move this way so that I can palpate the skin. So we can take our left non-dominant hand and go ahead and stabilize the port and we're going to take the Huber needle and slowly insert that into the port cap. Once you have that, you just want to keep that stable, ensure your locks are open and you can pull back and then begin to do your push, pause, push, pause, push, pause and then you'll want to lock that off during the end of that to maintain that positive pressure. Now our everything is on, we can put our tagoderm on and you would want to cover that with a bio patch as well if your facility calls for that. And once you have that on, you can either connect your client to their IV fluids that have been ordered or if it is just ordered to stay locked, you would want to use 2.5 of heparin, and you'll do that in the same manner with your push-pause, push-pause, locking that off in the end of your push to maintain positive pressure. Ensure that your patient's comfortable, clean up your area, document how the patient tolerated, and any significant findings that you found during the procedure. 
And that is all for inserting a Huber needle.